everyone. Hello everybody and welcome back to Demon's Run. We left off in the middle of a player's turn. Darf, I've already given you your 2 HP for your amulet so you can join in the battle now that the internet is back. You temporarily okay. died though. Uh, to finish mine off, I crouch low and get a little bit of cover back here. Excellent. You are in cover. Uh, next player. So, Neil, can I get a uh, view of um, this overseer when I peek yeah. out? Oh, easily. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to tag him twice. Uh, okay, where are you attacking it? The head or the legs? The head. They're separate monsters for our purposes. Okay, the head? Yeah. Go for it. Uh, one. Uh, 22 and a 23. That can't be right. Hold on. What does it say, C? AC 12. Yeah, you hit, you crit twice. Nice. Yes, its head does not have very good AC. <coughs> no. Okay. Uh, and then an extra two D6. So uh, it's seven little... and nine is 16. Yeah. And then I'm going to move back. What? It's dead. Its health bar is gone. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! guess. Oh, the, for some reason. The okay, there we go. For some reason, it was borked. Let's try this again. Okay. It's okay, here we go. dead. It's gone. Oh, no, God it's mini. It's it. to the bottom shrunk. of the river. Oh, no. What have I done? It's drowned. <laughs> it was just a balloon, guys. <laughs> All right. I don't remember its exact size. It's something like this. Uh, sure. And now it'll get hit points, and it'll lose 16. 16. There we go. Ooh. It is not a super strong thing, especially not on this plane of existence. You put two arrows through it and it begins to wobble on all of its three legs, helping to stabilize itself. And its eye, its big eye, turns towards you. And I, then I, narrows. I, I, I went I, back. I magic, I magic missile <laughs> in the head. Okay. 19. 19 will do it. The whole thing keels over, tumbles, hits the wall on the other side and topples into the water and dies. Got it. Next player. Uh, yes. uh, I'll go finish this or start this Hydra. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, it's, it's fresh. <coughs> the fresh Hydra. 20 should hit. Yes, it does. 13 damage. We'll almost kill it. 19, 19 will, will hit. hit. Probably should have shield punched and said for 11. 11. It dies. Actually, I'll fall back and shield punch this guy then. Make me a saving throw as you walk into the No, that no. was not where I meant to go. I went to walk back to where I was before, but okay. I clipped, I snapped the grid. Okay, that's fine then. He takes his foot out of the poisonous cloud, Neil. No worries. Okay. Twelve. But does he breathe through his foot? Uh, does he get Why is it? Oh, no, the minus two because it's offhand. He's retching and reeling. <laughs> yeah, that gets a minus penalty of two to his AC, so he's got 14 AC. Um, there's plus one for high ground or whatever. <laughs> 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 he's he didn't prone move. or something, right? He, he moved to get there. Isn't that charging? That's not no, charging. No, <laughs> that's a miss. Okay. Yep. Um, okay. I'll keep falling back, I think, though. Are we falling uh, back? Actually, maybe not. I don't want to group up. I'm not falling back. <laughs> if you fall back, you'll just say me, like, take your place as I move around this cloud. I'm going to go fight mm -hmm. this guy. If up you here. guys could all fit in a 90 foot cone for me, that would be great. <laughs> I'm going to fight this guy. Uh, on your yeah. fire web, Neil. So forward. here's the first attack with the arming sword on him uh, with a 17 to hit. Where's, oh, there he is. Okay, I couldn't find you. 17 will hit. Yes. All right. He takes eight points of damage. The harvest moon falls up with a 22. Hit. Uh, for five more points of damage. This is uh, an even round, right? So I get the follow-up oh, attack. That's a 20 uh, for an additional seven. Almost. You oh, hack into yeah. it, and it is near to dead, but not quite there. Mm. Um, okay. Other players? What's the range penalty for darts past 30 feet? Uh, minus, two. minus two, and then past okay. 60 feet is minus five. Okay, well, I'll take the, I'll shoot the nearest one first. Uh, this guy here? Yeah, that's that's in my normal range. 27 is a hit. It clears by 10. It crits. 2d6 plus whatever, but it doesn't matter. He's at four HP. You will kill him automatically. And okay, now the one further away, which is the, that's actually 22. Uh, that'll hit. And he's got three HP, so you'll kill. And this one? Yep. <laughs> I'm just imagining. Wait, uh, what's his AC no. 14? Is his AC 14? <laughs> uh, the, these, the Hydras? Yeah. 
Their AC is 16, 14 when they're retching okay, and reeling. So that, that cleared by... Oh, that's, it so cleared, that cleared by, by 10, 10, but he was dead anyway, so I didn't... Yeah. But this one also cleared by 10. This one and also he, cleared by guy, 10. That guy's at full health, so... Right, so this one will be 2 This time it actually matters. 3 plus 6 for 11. Yeah. What would uh, the party cigar. think when the gnome turns up with some darts? It's like, <laughs> I am here to save the world. <laughs> <laughs> A good question to ask you is, where are all of your extra darts, gnome? He has the cart. Yeah, so card. I have a little cart that has like 400 darts, and I keep walking back and forth and picking up darts. I okay. can carry up to 40 at a time. Sure, I, got... I just want to put the cart on the, the map then, so <laughs> it's an interactable object that the demons can guard and take away from you. Yeah, it wasn't, so it, it's it's like right underneath where the 100 is, so it's on okay. the other side of the wall. I'm, I'm imagining he's got like two crossed bandoliers. <laughs> <laughs> so we're... We're down. I've used 20 of the 40 I have on me, and I haven't Holy used anything shit. in the cart yet. So okay. go reload in a moment. Here we go. Here's a little hand cart. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Mm hmm OK, other players? Oh, exactly 14. 14 is a hit. Uh, and it has 5 HP, so it will die. Excellent. Oh, yeah. It's nice. cleaned up. Sweet. I'm going to remaining... go back. I'm going to go stand next to my cart so I can okay. reload. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> remaining players? Darf? You know, I can't tell. Are there any rocks underneath these clouds here, or is this all just normal river terrain? Where? Um, like, in like, here, are there rocks? Yes, are there any in here? No. There, you okay. see no rocks right here. When Darf gets up, like, when he sits back up and he looks down here, I guess he can see these guys, but can he see all the way down to the whim? The uh, yeah. lava thing. So we saw uh, yeah, you can see around the corner. You can right, see like so a tail him. flicking around in frustration. And he's and he's peaked before. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, if I was looking for cover anywhere around here, is there any cover? In case this thing does a breath. There's this, there's this rock here. Yeah, Although this is 15 feet high and it slopes downward. Right. So I could be like in the back there. You could go oh. lay down on this rock and try and hide from incoming things. Well, right. I mean, I, I don't have to lay hard. down. I can just crouch, right? You yeah. can crouch, yeah. It's 15 feet yeah. high, so you can take a, a lean down. Sure. Perfect. Other players? I think that's it. All right, that's it. It's officially it. Monsters right. well, turn. I'll move to get behind cover over there, too. Okay. Um, did we do the cloud on the mon the correct turn last time? Did we do the yes. end of the monsters turn again? Yeah. It should be on our turn now. It should be at the end of our turn. Okay, it should, it should be, be at the end, the end, end of the round. Perfect. Yeah, it should be. It's a go now. So one d eight. Right. Oh, so go right now. Yeah. So one d eight, and this will be its this last, last round of turn movement. movement, right? And then it's gone. Uh, two is in this direction, uh, the up and to the right. Oh, and one d sixty is forty five. Ooh, it could actually uh -oh. reach you. Uh, um, it will hit the stinking cloud though. Oh, so yeah. it might disperse. It will do oh my tornado. <laughs> It'll get that far, <laughs> and yeah, between it and the this, they will both just kill each other, and yeah. this, the tornado ends up on the end of this round. Monsters turn, and, um, well, Lucila, you're not going to get a minus four for not being able to see this guy above you. Are you serious? This shit again? I almost didn't go next to the wall, but I was like, he said this wouldn't happen. <laughs> Whatever. I told you he about the He exactly. throws himself <laughs> off the wall. I said he would do it again. I said it. I'm just gonna point out he can't get a running start because he, he can only move ten. Oh feet. yeah, wait, he can't. How he can has, he, hold on, he has to hold like on, Neil. Hold he has on, to like right now. Off the cliff. This this is a sloped cliff, right? Somewhat sloped, yeah. Uh huh. And like, he's like stuck in the entangle spell, so he can only move ten feet in a minute. If it, seventeen doesn't hit me, you're right. Ten feet. You're right. Ten feet in a minute, he can't break out of it. Oh, I guess I don't have AC, so, but um, <laughs> he's had time, but yeah. yeah. Ryan yeah. should get a dex check to avoid so, it. If okay, a rock I think was what falling it is, on you, you get a dex check. I think what is going on here is he's trying to jump on you, but it's a slow process, and so it ends up being more of like a slide down the mountain in your direction with the demon screaming bloody murder, waving his sword, and trying to keep his feet. So he'll get a dex check. So it's a slope process. It's so a with the sword at something. The dex check is a fail. The demon just slides down the hill and like doesn't land anywhere near you. Uh, he's I'm gonna take, take 96. Yeah. He'll take, well, he's sliding, not jumping, so he'll do half of 96, so... Uh, half of 10, 90, so How much would you do? 96, so how, oh yeah, 10 to 6. So that was only because it was raised. Yeah. 6 plus 28. Uh, so he'll do half of that. He'll take 14 it damage. Other, it should be 10 to 6, right? Oh, I yeah, added yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, it'll be 14, so 14 damage from the slide 
and he does not end up in an advantageous position. Ryan, give me a dex check to get an attack of opportunity against him as he slides down oh. the mountainside. Cool. Oh, oh yeah, yeah you do. You move right in front of him, or right to the side of him, and can bring your sword yeah. to bear as he slides. Like which hits. Oh, hit. Very nice. 10 points of damage. Exactly his HP. He... I look up. Anymore! <laughs> nice play. Uh, yeah, though. one more will try. Seeing no, how successful this was, he'll yeah, give it a geez. shot. And dex, dex check. check. That one will Ooh. pass. He comes sliding on his feet and back towards you, sword up. <sighs> And uh, we'll make an attack roll. An attack roll against yes. He also takes the damage still. Right? And Ryan's yeah. damage will only be 5 to 6. So. Um, we will do. Well, Ryan won't take the damage because it's not landing um, on him. He's sliding down now, the cliff. Clearly, now no one can have an argument about high ground or charge. This is definitely a high ground charge combo <laughs> in this moment here. Oh my sure. God. You know I don't want to hear any complaints Whatever. about it. <laughs> I'll, I'll agree For a tw- that won't hit my 20. AC. You're not 20 be won't like... hit you? Nope. No. Okay. And you see You're it coming. Gonna... You're not okay. gonna pull some bullshit about like <laughs> you when you hit AC ten. No, no. Um, I so you get your attack. Of, you get an attack Does of opportunity. He, like, set his sword like in preparation for a charge, and this thing just if eviscerates he had itself. A spear, on it. spear, I might. If he had a spear, he could. So Do I need a dex check, or should I just make my attack of opportunity? Uh, you I'll... can make an, a dex check to get out of the way, or an attack of opportunity, but not both. Oh, I'll let you make your decision and re-roll. Uh, that's fine. I I dodge. I step out of the way and you'll step out of the way. He'll just. I would like to step out of the way and attack him, but I think I'll just let him take falling damage. Can he not take a step and make an attack? Uh, If he's going to make the attack, I'm saying since the demon has made its dex check, then it's going to collide with him. So he can either like make the attack, take the attack of opportunity as they close, or he can. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to take falling damage too. Yeah, let us six. Holy shit! Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. Okay, and third time is the charm. Are you serious right now? Yes. <laughs> you say God. no more of this, Neil. The DM always lies. Uh, he comes <laughs> sliding down towards you. Um, and Dex check. Okay. Dex check for you. Go for it. For him. Uh, for him. Yeah, he, yeah. That was the 21 was his dex. Okay. Um, and then he makes an attack roll. He makes an attack and roll I can make, you. I get a dex check to dodge. And he or gets... you can make an attack of opportunity. Oh God, even with all the bonuses, it doesn't work. And I dodge. And you dodge. Okay, and he takes. (laughs) Okay, that worked out pretty well, actually. Wait, does he slide onto one of his friends or not? He actually dies from the sliding damage. Okay, when, right, I, when that's halved, it kills him. <laughs> he partway down, he trips, flips forward, hits his rock up, head on a rock, splatters oh everywhere, the body tumbles to your feet. Uh, this I wish demon, we could animate that, that will be gold. This demon just walks outside of the entangle area and does not follow suit. Uh, I think the demons are Coward! 0 for 4 on pancaking. Coward! <laughs> I, okay. and they're 4 for 4, they pancaked perfectly. <laughs> All right, what's next, Neil? You what breaker. is next, indeed? So the gate gate breaker, gate breaker action. Yep. Yeah. Gate breaker X gate breaker. Uh, gate breaker mud wrestling. <laughs> gate breakers are oiled up and ready to go. Mm-hmm. If it if it wants to get past, it's got to go through the mud. So I think it's or gonna fight. into the deeper water, and um, you know these things they're used to fighting. And here, an, an ally has turned into an enemy, and it's very comfortable just attacking its former ally. It cannot charge, but it can gore. gore. Can it gore uh, without the charge? Yes, there's a charge okay. and a gore attack there. So oh, I see. Uh, 26 will hit. It will not clear by 10. Will, will that hit its frill? Isn't it of high front AC? Yeah, it, with the frill, it's 24 AC, so a, a 26 will hit. And the gatebreaker damage, I don't think is right. Oh, it is right. Okay, so it'll just hit for 2d6. Okay. Uh, I have a question about the like makeup of these creatures, like yes, while sir. you're going. Mm-hmm. Like th- they have these big like front pieces, it looks like on their token. That right? gives like, them different does, AC. Does that act like cover potentially? Yeah. Or anything behind like, it, totally. Should yeah. I, let's say, I don't know, ride it. Could I duck behind the mentally dominated frill for yes. cover and then yes. attack things? Yes, you could. 
Uh, I'll just give you the description. A large quadruped with heavy scaled armor plating on its head in the form of a sweeping frill. Ankylosaurus meets Triceratops. The scales are made of purple blue, uh, of purple blue diamond shaped plates. Breathes out noxious green fumes. Excellent. So he gores your guy. The two stand there barking at each other. Does he not get a strength bonus to its attacks? That's what I was going to look. He has 19 strength, but I think the damage is indicative of the strength. Like, it's it's a natural attack, so it's not... This okay. is what I've gone back and forth on. It maybe should get the damage bonus. Probably should. It probably Ooh, should. It should. Right? I think it should. Spear is D6. Yeah. A, a yeah. weak spear. Do you want to change into, like, D6 plus the bonus, which might be better overall? Well, but I was thinking there's two horns, right? Yeah, there's two horns. It'll just do 2D6 plus 7, but that's okay. Your Gatebreaker could do 2D6 plus 7, too. Sure. Yeah. So um, add seven to that. Seven. Yeah, that's fine. And you will take another seven here. There we go. Uh, there are other things happening, happening, happening. Uh, and I think we're just going to let the players go for now. All right. So breath weapon recharge passes. Uh, it was has a ten percent charge, and you nailed it. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's going to breath weapon again. <laughs> oh my word. That's great. Don't get Dean's okay. face, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, so can I get three more saves? Yeah. Fine, Sean. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if Moon was having some of them come up on us invisibly and they've, like, just all moved to the black? So the warriors... Pa oh, wait, one uh, warrior those are fails. saves. They should have been petrification, but they're both fails. Uh, no, one oh. pass would fail. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so the front one... Save? The f back one is the one that survives. The front one is the one that dies. So you die, and then the Gatebreaker. God, he should have petrified you. He should have done it. God yes! damn it, he should have done Natural it. Natural one. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh uh, there's God. a whole bunch of, like, demon bodies that are now turned to stone in that, that area. There's a oh, whole yeah. bunch of hard things to move this through. Is, uh, that's true. We got, like, monument statues statues in the way, and then mud on the side and deep water to pass that. Ooh. Yeah, uh -huh. they're going to have to get going deeper and deeper out. That's what I'm saying. They shouldn't get to hug the edge anymore. There's a, okay. two gatebreakers I... to stone. I hear you. I hear you. They have to play a leap, leapfrog, but it's leap gatebreaker. <laughs> Just right. walk uh, from stone creature to stone creature. I'll go next. I can see the the Fireworms tail, right? Uh, Probably not oh, anymore. Can... Oh, OK. Uh, I'll think that's a Belska. Sean, can your oh. gatebreaker still move? Yeah, but it has to be within 150 feet of me. Okay, I'm gonna run up on get on its back. <laughs> okay. Um, the, I think I'll have it stay there for now. It is within range. I can't have it move too much further. I, I can't have it go and like try to petrify the fireworm, unfortunately. I'm gonna I'm gonna like hide behind its like big frilly bit, and then on my turns, I'm gonna like try to kill this fireworm. Let's go do it. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Uh, I finished this guy on the ground. Eleven Easily. enough to kill it. Okay. Um, uh, I shout out to Lucia. Let's uh, come back a bit. Is one of us? Lucia looks longingly at the gatebreaker. One I'm of us bell riding right triumphantly. Neil deleted me, but I'm alive. Yeah, it's <laughs> supposed to be my glorious death. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a negative one. Looks Dude, like you better beat him to oh, a glorious death. There's a. I think I will. Oh, I guess yeah, I've already made my attack. I was going to say. Come back, Ryan. I, I think I will. Where's okay. our negative one person? Yeah. I think the token got deleted. I think yeah, he's it's dead. right next to me. I think I'll use the rest of my turn to like sheathe my sword, pick up the body, and drag it back. Okay. Uh, I will try and find his actual character. You just again. moved it really, really far down. It's like behind Malachi. Yeah. I don't. I don't have enough action oh, to he? like. Oh, no, that's that's a that's me. I'm alive. That's me. Oh, I see. Oh, that's just some random person. <laughs> some okay. some okay. random <laughs> guy shooting yeah. arrows from the I've back line. The NPC in the back. <laughs> I'm I don't have enough actions to bind his there. wounds, but I can probably drag his body back. To there we go. Well, if you're bringing him back, I shall bring him over here. Uh, bring him over here. All right. He's here bring my fingers in him. Dear companion. <laughs> And so it doesn't matter what I cast, it's still going to be at one hit. He'll be brought to yeah. one HP regardless of the spell. Okay. Can I shove a good berry in his mouth and make him do it? Absolutely not. No way in hell. <laughs> not in a thousand years. Can I knock but there are other holes that the good berry will fit. <laughs> Ryan? <Like escaping> <laughs> Ryan? 
<laughs> he means the ear. What else? Get your head out of the gun. All your nutrient absorptions from one area of the body, not I from your the, stomach. The sword wounds. Yeah, so I'll I'll Orison it then. Okay. Yep. We gotta remove Orison, that didn't spell you get from rid the of game Orison, too. Orison, I I think I did remove it from the spell list. I think it's no longer on the official Koibu 2E spell list because oh, it's so okay. fucking broken. Then I'll then I'll CLW. Yeah, okay. swap the Orison's out for CLWs or something. Yeah. Just, okay. Just change one for the Nail. other. Orison was Nail. a bad idea. Is my yeah. movement sixty feet? Yeah. Uh, like, your movement is one hundred and twenty feet. If I wanted to. Oh, an action, sixty then. in spell. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and use the wand of size alteration on Ryan, Lucila. Oh, on Lucila. Yeah. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. So um, it says that she grows by fifty percent and then has the strength equal to a giant of that size. So it gives the example oh, that six, seems... a six a six foot human would get nineteen strength, the same as a hill giant, because they'd go to nine foot. You are five seven, so you become. Let's do some math here. 7 times 1.5 divided by 12. You are 8 foot 3.75. 5 by 12. Does that work? It doesn't work like that. You are 8 foot 2, I believe? Yeah, something that's like that. Right. Yeah. yeah, 8 foot 2. So it's going to be somewhere between like 1850 and 19 strength, probably. Uh, I let's think... look up. It's weird look that it doesn't do it by... It's especially weird because there are short giants that have greater strength than taller giants. Yeah, it's a yeah and also, so metric. we should go with the highest strength of its size category. I well, don't, I don't, so. yeah, I I don't really it. understand your fascination with strength directly correlating to size because it's just not really a thing. Usually in large, you just get 50% more damage. But strength let's is see. a matter of density. But this is Those a giants are 16 version. feet tall. Yeah, what's, you're only eight. What's but Lucila's it, normal strength? It's weird because 17. it says... It says a six foot person would go to nine foot and then get strength equal to a hill giant. But if you look up a hill giant, it's like 14 foot tall. So yeah, they're 16 feet yeah. tall. So it doesn't make sense. So I, I think mean, it's just about 19, 18. It's just, it's just saying you get equivalent strength, right? It doesn't. Something's roughly proportional size. to the giant of corresponding size. The only a giant third. that size is a, a Verberg, which has and 18. And it goes. It says a hill giant. Wait. Enlarged to nine feet is a hill giant. 13 feet is a fire giant. But I think fire giants are shorter than hill giants. Yes. Neil, just this is your magic item. Just tell us what it does. This is just a monstrous him. manual magic item. Just give it's him 19, Neil. Just give him 19. Yeah, you got 19 yeah. strength. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Right. I don't regret this. Uh, Sila's rippling muscles are, are practically visible through the armor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The hairless chest. <laughs> oh, yeah, I give out a whistle. <laughs> yeah. Hill giants are sh I guess hill giants are You go, there. girl! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Um, we don't actually need the 100 feet anymore, do we? We have a map now. Excellent. Uh, any other actions? Any other players? Uh, I could technically have my wind servant do something, but there's not much to do, so just kind of kind of chill. Yeah, I might step, like, right here, just so that I'm a little bit further away from any pancake <coughs> situation that could potentially go on. Oh, you'd be on the power. That's just idea. to behold that pancaking you from above in a second. Oh, yeah, I know. oh wait, we're really clustered together. Like, I'm just going to step. Out. Sees nothing, steps back into his corner. I'm just gonna step like, God, we're, we're way too clustered right now, yeah, guys. No, I'm, gonna go, like... I'm gonna drag the injured person back here behind the rock. Maybe run forward, Fun. Okay. The injured person the is unable to join in combat because he got well down and stayed there for a while. So mm -hmm. if they survive, you might survive as well, but you're effectively useless. So you can be uh, Tom Hanks at the very end of Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> cool. And he, oh, awesome. he, can, yeah, he can fetch darts. I tell you, you fought well, lad. We'll clean it up for you. They attack four times immediately. It was crazy. I thought they came at the end of the round, but they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Monster's turn. Um, when something... Oh, Greg, you're going to be able to see this. You are riding on this gate breaker. Uh-huh. When something slowly peers around the edge that only you can see. Oh, only fuck. you. And, and then I turn to stone, right? That's no, how this goes. No, no, no. It uh, use, <laughs> has an anti magic uh, oh. ray coming out of the center of its its main eye, which will mm. undo the mental domination, I believe, on All right. the. So part of the reason I climbed writing. up. Part of the reason I climbed up on this thing's neck is so that mm -hmm. I would be up close and vulnerable to, like, its necky bits. You. Mm -hmm. I am assuming I recognize a beholder. 
and yeah. understand its like magical properties. I did not attack last turn. I want to yeah. slay this thing. I dig my both of my swords deep into its throat and just like try to just kill this thing outright. Give me two attack rolls at plus four because you're riding <clears> it. Uh, alrighty, uh, so this is a 13. Ooh. Natural one. <laughs> yes. Uh, and a 27. 27 clears by seven. It will not crit, but it will hit. Okay. Yeah. Have low yeah. uh, so this is yes, 11 points of damage. Yeah. It has so it's not quite thick, dead. scaly hides with little bony protrusions all over it. So you run your sword across it, ripping open, and it starts bleeding out this weird demon blood. Um, but it, it can then I, begins uh, to thrash. Yeah, I think that's all I can do, actually. Yeah. I, I, this is an odd-numbered round, so I don't get a follow-up attack. Sean, yeah. will you roll me a 1d10 to see if this guy's breath weapon recharges? <laughs> don't, Sean. Don't, Sean. Oh, oh, my okay. God. So okay. fucking close. How does the uh, Beholder know that, he, that this is mentally dominated? That's a great SMRT. question. You should it, walk it up to the Beholder feet. and ask the Beholder. Seal does do have exceptional <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> okay. All right. Where are we? Uh, these other ones are fine doing that thing. Uh, and the demon... Oh, this, there's one guy up here. Okay. This guy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He has seen the pancakes with various effectivity, and he will it, not see Zero effectivity. <laughs> effectivity. I think one right. one guy... No, yeah. The one guy just one jumped into the pod. Yeah. 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 Um, he's going to just wait. He's going to wait. Player's turn. Okay. Um, we got to kill that Beholder. Or we got to kill... Well, we have to kill the Beholder, but we also have to kill the uh, last Gatebreaker. I'm doing it! It's just slowly! <laughs> uh, he's a bit thicker than I thought! 90 feet. I like the accent you're bringing in here. <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard her talk, so... I'm going to two shots at it. At the gatebreaker? Gate yeah. All right. One, two. Oh, Ooh. critical miss, critical hit. Three times damage dice on the... Ooh, um... Mega crit. Is that a... Did that clear by 10? 14. 14 damage. Um, it's 20... Yeah, yeah, because he's got plus two for back attack. Oh, I see. Um, so 14 will slay it. Uh, it'll topple over, and Bell, I think, lands in the water. Do I need to make some kind of check to not be crushed by this giant thing? Uh, I guess if you're riding a horse and the horse falls over, you have some chance of being trapped underneath it. So a yeah. large creature would do the same thing. Give me a dexterity check not to be trapped underneath the so weight of the I monster. So I have no skills on my That's sheet. Can I assume that I am just a massively proficient uh, demon rider? You are a knight. No. So you probably do have. <laughs> you do probably have proficiency in horse. Memory. All right, dex check. Uh, uh, yeah, you can make me a dex check or willpower at plus three for a horseback riding check, if you'd like. Willpower at plus three sounds very good. I got to figure out how to make your checks work. The, the purple button to the left. And is there any sort of bonus for the fact that it's standing still and not, like, running around, which would probably make it... Because I imagine well, part of the... Is there any kind of bonus for the fact that... That's a 20. So it's a 20. That's going to be a fail, yeah. 21 is success, like Blackjack. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's kind of okay. where I'm wondering, like, is there, because normally people get trapped under their horse because it falls mid-charge and, like, rolls over them. Well, it's not like the Gatebreaker was just standing there waiting for its next turn, right? It's in the middle of combat, so it's, like, True. throwing its head and gorging with its horns. Sure, and so then it gets, gets trapped like, underneath. Ted specifically yeah, yeah. has a frill, which would seem to make it much harder for him to get trapped under it. It's the, it's the leg under the side. It's a willpower check? It's a wisdom yes. check. Plus Which really then we rephrased wisdom huh. to willpower. Huh. Yeah. Okay. It feels I'm very... Sorry. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, so you can spend your turn making a successful strength check to get out from underneath if you would like. Okay. Um, it died on this round, so you can spend... This is your turn now. Yeah, yeah. well, next turn. I, I used my action to try to kill it. Mm. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, Neil, what's the range of the, the blind on my stuff? Is that the same as the light spell, or is it more? Sure. Yeah. Which, which one? Same as the light spell. Yeah. It's like 120 okay. yards. Uh, no, it's only 60 yards. So uh, wizard to... light is not as good as priest light. Mm. Uh, somebody else go. I need to think. Um, well, my mental domination ended, so I can take advantage of that. To... This, this seems like a turn where we're going to kind of like hole up and get ready for more movement. I think they're waiting for this worm to start moving. 
Yeah. Um, so I hope you've got some. I mean, it's going to go very slow because of all the mud, but I hope you've got some mega spells ready, Nick. Well, yeah, I've got another lightning bolt, another magic missile, I've got Evard's cloud kill. I'll, it would be 90 feet from the beholder. I'm going to try to kill that one thing that's still incapacitated right there, since while well, everyone else figures out what they're doing. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's, I think is plus eight. It's no, probably it's, lot. It's plus like six. 100 feet away. Yeah. What's your range? Uh, the, the range of your thing. yeah, but if he goes all the way up to he's got 10, 20, 30 yard range, so he can walk forward, throw. I'll yeah. just have to like walk out of cloud cover or whatever. It'll just be it'll just be it won't be plus ten, it'll be plus eight instead okay. of or even plus six. But plus I get six, six shots at it. That'll do it. Uh, that's one hit for nine, nine damage. Okay. Brings um, it down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna attempt to climb the side of the canyon. Uh. You normally roll at plus 10, and right now you're throwing at max range, so you should be rolling at plus 5. Yeah, right, because it's... it's beyond 60 feet, but less than uh, 100 feet, so... Well, that's another minus 3, then, so that's 15. 15, hit. right, so 15 won't... Oh, he's retching. 15 will hit and kill. There yeah. you go. There we nine, go. Another 9 damage. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna see if I can climb the canyon wall, and I'm going to reload from oh. my cart. Okay. Uh, Lucilla, okay. you're going to climb up to the... You're going to climb the 100 feet? Yeah, so I pass. It'll take Sheath me, like, what, two turns to get there? What are you going to do with your shield? Oh, you're you can put it over your back. Up. I guess I put it over my back, and then okay. I'll have to spend a round re-shielding. Yeah. So you spend a round getting ready and starting the climb, and you get a... Is that a successful climb check right there? That's, yeah. I nice. took one-third strength and dex. I didn't take any modifiers into account, but natural 17 yeah. should do it. So should do two it with rounds later, maybe? Uh, yeah, something like that. You'll start climbing up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cast protection from evil, ten foot radius on myself. Okay. Ooh, okay, I just, I just move back again. Does anyone have bless? I do. For, I could do it. I, I have chance to use it some moment when my spells are all gone. We were told you can't bless in combat. You can well, bless uh, as long as you're not currently engaged in melee combat. Yeah, you, you can be in melee of anything. Seems like there's a lull in the combat, but yeah, yeah. we can we can bless. Yes. What? Now would have been a good time to blast. Yeah, maybe next turn. I, I want to get the protection from evil out because it's a bigger save bonus. It's fair. Okay. Uh, party has taken their turns. Uh, protection from evil is not going to give you a save bonus. I will. I will fight Neil on that one. <laughs> I'm going to take. I'm going to take a parry or whatever that is defensive. Sure. Yep. Yeah, Neil. Um, I want to forward towards the beholder, but I don't see it on the map anymore. Yes, it's uh, out of sight. It has moved behind the cliff, and you can no longer see where it is. Where, where did we last see it? Then? Uh, Greg is the only one to actually have seen it, um, and that was somewhere in this region. Okay. Um, I'm moving up to. So I can move 120 feet then. It, well, uh, no, you're a dwarf. Up. You can only move 60 feet. Okay, but is that <laughs> if I'm not taking an action, can I move? 120 total? Uh, yeah, if you want to run, you can do that. It'll give you penalties to your AC uh, for the round, but that's fine. Run, dwarf. Run 120 feet, as long as you're not encumbered. I've got 1890 strength. I doubt you're encumbered. I heard that somebody was encumbered once, but I don't understand what it meant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, if I'm over here, can this guy make a running leap and hit me? Who knows? Unlikely. The guy on the, we can't see the guy on the wall, but it's unlikely. 60 feet. Did you want to go more? I think this is about 60 feet there. Yeah. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to do for now then. Okay. Alrighty. You know, can I move and take the dodge action in case that guy leaps on me? Yeah, you can do a parry sort of thing. Keeping an eye on the, the wall, on the cliff, make sure no demons are coming. Get ready to duck and weave. Um, the demons skip their next round, and the party gets to go again. Really? Yeah. Yep, thought so. They're waiting for the, the fireworm right. to not be So gagged. I start mm. screaming from beneath the thing, like, Beholder! I see the Beholder! And then I'm going to try to get out of here. Squeak, pull, kick it off of you. There you oh, go, Lucilla. I just Bells. beast this demon off me, and then wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Maybe we should I return to the part. Can I move and make a? Uh, it's a half move to stand, and then you can skedaddle. Right, so a I bit. move like thirty feet or something. Sure, whatever. Yeah, and I'm telling the party there's a beholder coming. 
Okay. I, yeah. Why, I, when, when my mental domination broke, that was kind of the... Uh, uh, Maybe if we all moved up, I could still stay in the back, but be within range to uh, blind. We, we either need to wait for them to advance or we have to put ourselves in a very dangerous spot because of that corner up there. Thing is, if we wait like this, I'm not going to be able to immediately blast it with blind. So I'm going to be out of range. By the time it closes with you, I will be able to. Though. Oh, blind would be so ironic in a beholder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the giant Although... eyeball is blinded. Who has uh, the ring of feather fall? It does have, doesn't have multiple eyes, though. It has 10 eye stocks, so I think if you get a blind off on it... Like you would disable most, you whichever get... eye you disable. Wouldn't I mean, if you blind a person, one? you disable two. So I would say you could disable two beholder eyes with a blind well, I, spell. Actually, you actually blind when you blind... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. When you blind a person, you blind 100% of their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's true, though, isn't it? There's if a lot somebody, of ways we could think about it. Yeah. If somebody, if somebody you have, blind all of its eyes, not just I, two I get where Neil's coming from, though. I, I, I get where. Because some get of the it. eyes aren't going to be facing forwards. Some yeah, might be and they're, they're not or... as connected as human eyes. Like right. they're more spread out. You never specified how the blind on the stuff worked. You're right. I didn't. You'll have to try it. We'll have to see it. This is a new situation in which you're using. That actually effect. could. That that does matter. If it is like an AO blind, that could actually be. Uh, yeah. yeah we'll see. Okay, well, we'll see. I think I'm just, I think I just hold my turn. Okay. Anyone else want to do anything yeah. other than hold their turn? Um, I continue climbing and wonder okay, wait one more round and then where that, uh, where the ring of feather fall is. All right. If he's running that way and shouting beholder, I can only assume the beholder must have gotten behind us and is coming. That he's running. <laughs> 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 so does that mean you're running towards where the beholder is or you're running away from it? I guess I'm running away from it because I'm assuming he's running towards it. So he's going towards it, so you're going to go away from it. <laughs> no, I'm running towards the, what I think is where the holder is, too. Oh, okay. Which... So you're advancing to the rear. Right. Yeah. I Got think it. I'm advancing to the holder because. Right, right. Go ahead and justify it. Running to the <laughs> I see what you're saying. Uh huh. You're a brave, brave dwarf Sir turning Robin your back away. to the enemy. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, movements? Any movements? Yes. Can we uh, get some heals uh, out on the party? Yeah, I'm going to go and heal. Yes. Who, who wants because Bless only lasts six rounds. Uh, Darf, you need to get a little bit healthier. Two Darf HP around ain't doing it. Yeah. Can I so, drop a CLW? Take another D10 plus one. Take, take another four, Darf. <laughs> and can Darf's I drop a CLW on Darf? Uh, you want to throw another CLW on Darf? Go for it. D8. Yeah. Another two. One round okay. of all right, all right. Uh, I'll reload I, from my cart and move up to here and then lie prone at the top of the firing cliff. What I choose to call it. Okay. The firing cliff. It's a good name for it. Ido runs out, sees if there's any enemies, doesn't see any, runs back into his. Nice. Good job, Ido. Okay. So, starting at the beginning of the round, whoever cast the stone to mud, we're going to do a dispel magic spell onto it. Um, Great, it becomes a okay. very... No, 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 it's fine. Oh, no, he's casting it as spell magic. This is horrible. Please, Neil. We'll, we'll let them move across it a little bit faster. Uh, uh, it turns to stone. Yeah. Right, but we, I think now we have to do an opposed check, or does it automatically work I on think it auto mode? It... The anti-magic vision. I think anti-magic ray dispel... doesn't even sound like it's a dispel, though. It sounds like it just auto... Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. It let doesn't me say shit. Like under beholder, the monsters. Yeah. Name. The beholder let spell was like OP. The spell does it's anything. Like no uh, this is not a beholder gaze attack. This is a dispel magic spell. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh. Hold on. Let me let me check something really fast. So rock to mud um, will not like. Hold on, wait. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So it will turn back to stone if it is a successful dispel magic. Okay. So we have. So we roll a d20, and there's a modifier for whoever's got the higher level. Yeah. This guy's casting as level 12. You're level 9. So they yeah. get yeah. It on three. a... Let the they guy need an 8 or higher. An 8 or higher on a d20. Okay, 1d20, 9. All right, okay. so all of this mud is now just rock again, yeah? Yes, yep. uh, only in the range of it, though. So only some of the mud turns back to rock. Oh, uh, only the area within this smell magic? Yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. presumably, because it's an AOE. Only rock right? Two. Or was it on? Just a 
so mm -hmm. oh, you cast it, you cast your spell at the top that's right it's not the hillside it's just the... yeah so he 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 turns 30 square feet i think of of mud back to rock and all the demons right. inside of that area feet. are now encased in stone yes yep for i mean the ones who are underneath are probably suffocated by now um so we're gonna do we're gonna do a doodle 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, all the way over here. So this stuff is now rock. I believe that's the correct. That's yep, it turns to like 10 foot tall stones. There's like a little ledge there now. Okay. Um, And I guess that's going to be that. And we will have our fireworm yep. come into play now. Now is the time where we got to blow this thing up, Nick, because it's got a long breath weapon. I, I heard Neil say it. It's 90 feet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to kill it. Okay. Yeah. It's got to die. Our fireworm can move over here. As it enters the water, which it will do somewhat, it begins to sizzle the water, which begins to boil and evaporate around it. Does um, it not take damage from moving itself into water? It doesn't. It is a weird monstrous creature whose head is actually on the bottom side, but the token looks better with the head at the top, but just remember its face is towards you. Enemy's gate is down. Um, ooh. Oh, we can only barely hit these people with our breath weapon. Which uh, probably which means won't hit because I also have like a little bit ledge elevation thing. guardian. Yeah, so yeah, and then... Darf is definitely out of range. Lucila's out of range. You're out of range, but the gnome, the caster, uh, Bell, and these people. Let me Shit. see if I can get a better view of the party here. Then how elevated is the the firing cliff? Uh, fifteen feet. feet at the front. Okay. Fifteen feet at the front. Which is where. And I then am. you're part way back down it. Yeah. So uh, you one two three people make me regular saving throws. You I think are... just the two. Because I'm I'm covered. And part of the reason I'm here was to oh, get. I'm, covered, I'm at Greg right? first. Oh, I see. Yeah. Saving throw versus oh, breath weapon. Yeah. Breath versus breath weapon. Old. Yeah. Yeah, I think you oh. oh, success. No. I think that's a pass. But you know what? This is a fireworm, and its breath weapon ha is... Just get ready to put your DM hacks into chat, people. Um, can I get a, a saving throw for the gnome, which is a pass? All right. Is it a, it's a cone or something? It is a 90-foot cone, 45 feet at the end and it will do does it catch man oh, whoa <laughs> 118 fire damage that blows open with a huge inferno turning the uh mud in this area baking it evaporating the water it hisses and boils away and the three of you are lost in an inferno of flame fuck yes uh when the flames clear their bodies are not even visible Yes, the fireworm is a deadly monster. It is one of the highest class demon warriors and has been sitting in the back because I'm it can't Neil. use its breath weapon because it's been choking on stinking cloud for five fucking all, rounds. All I'm saying, Neil, if we survive this encounter, I, I just want to auto level up to 10. I don't even care about XP numbers anymore. We won't bother <laughs> rolling the XP, yeah. <laughs> um, and that is at the same time that our demon minions will come out. I believe this is the last wave that we have coming here. Not that you guys know it, but you can kind of tell it based on what's going on here. And they can't can get it. that far. They I can get to the hold there as well. Yeah. Darf, you should have a 12, I think, because of your amulet oh regeneration. God. No. No? Okay. No, Darf already took care of her shit. Okay. Arrange your demons properly, Neil. You, you know what? Are they a bit closer together than that? No. <laughs> They're not. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Uh, and then we'll just wait for the breath weapon to recharge, hopefully. And, uh, oh, one more thing. The beholder and caster will slip out from behind cover as well. Although the caster already used its spell, so it doesn't get any extra abilities this round. Uh, and they will sort of come one over here. The beholder somewhere over here. Ooh, no. We're going to get a, uh, a small team to guard the beholder right like this. And we'll get a small team to guard the caster like this. Oh, um, God. And then our other demons are like that. Okay. That should do it. Uh, okay. Party's turn. I'll go right, first. I'm casting just... a spell at this fireworm. Okay, you go first. I 
Actually, do you think it's intelligent? Do you think it speaks? Does it have to be able to speak? I think it is intelligent, yes. To some extent. Okay. If it speaks, then then this will work. If it's if I it's don't smart know if it enough speaks. to speak. Presumably it's gotta speak, right? Like intelligence of depends. It's a worm. Is required. So does is, is his intelligence higher than It's three? worm W Y R M. Yeah. Which implies to me a dragon. Yeah, which should mean that it speaks. But well, it speak? I guess it's time to try Common. it. Um, it I'm required? going it's it's the best spell I have right now aside from bless which isn't going to do us a whole lot of good here i'm going to cast tape the uh, on the fire oh god I, you're breaking he's up speaking I can't hear tongues you. <laughs> oh god <laughs> i speak parcel tongue oh okay, my, there my we internet go. connection uh, so can you hear me now perfect yes, yes all right so i can do it in a 20 foot area so i can get these three guys too like oh I, you can't see that i can it's get these them. three guys too um i cast dictate on the four of those so the fire works through it's I say turn on your allies and slay them all <laughs> up to six creatures in a 20-foot cube okay yep, so the fire worm and those three i don't think i could reach more than that so that's why i only do the four subjects who cannot understand the caster are not affected yeah so if it's small might find out so need, uh, either way i need so they need to speak common they need to understand common right seems which odd. is so i will say this we have set precedent that they do because I have dictated these things before and it worked. Who did you dictate when and where? I dictated when we were in the Shadow Realm and it worked. I was able to dictate the demons. Right, perfect, perfect. That's great. Uh, these ones in particular are not the same creep. There, there are a lot of things that we're dealing with here and these guys mm -hmm. do not speak the common tongue. Uh, the warriors definitely yeah. don't and the fireworm does not speak the common Damn. tongue at all. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. Yeah. It was worth a shot. If that was gonna work, that would have been beautiful. That would have been so beautiful if you could have done that. Okay, um, uh, I want a lightning bolt. But they did not speak the, it. The worm, one row of demons in the caster. I assume that I can okay. do that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah? that's legit. Okay. No, I'm gonna move back as well, actually. <laughs> 32. Okay, we're gonna do worm spell save first. Success, so it'll take 16 which is a larger portion of its life than you might expect, actually. No, no, that's about what I expect for 2e. Um, and then these guys, right? So one, two, three, four, five warriors. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five warriors. Holy shit. So dead, 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 and dead. And then the caster gets a pass and oh. will take 16 as well, which brings it to about half. Yeah. Next round, next action. Okay, I'm gonna step out and tag the fireworm twice. Go for it. Oh, those are terrible Dude. shots. What has happened? You have stopped rolling well. What have you done? I step back into my hide cave. <laughs> Somebody, somebody did not have uh, a lot of confidence after watching that breath attack. I've been pancaked, Neil. I was never the same. <laughs> the bow is sort of broken. You kind of have to hold it to keep it working in the right spot. Um, next player. Ryan, you should be on the, the cliff yeah, by now. Yeah, I make it to the ledge and I strap on my shield. Okay. And I think that's all. I think that takes my whole turn to strap on a shield, right? Yep. And uh, Van? I guess I can like move out to here or something. I dictated. Um, All right, you so dictated. Darf? Well, I regain two HP, which is not going to help me against that worm anytime soon. <laughs> um, okay. But, you know, I tried. Um, okay, let's see. That's probably some insane AC. I'll just... Um, can I... Well, my shield is dropped to my arm. I can't drop it and make an attack with a bow, can I? If you... No, while the shield is on, you cannot make a bow attack. No, can I drop the shield and oh, make a bow yes. attack in the same? Okay, yes, I'm... that's fine. Because, like, AC is not going to help me get this, anyways. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Oh, that's Wonderful. a miss, anyways. Okay. Uh, I, get, Did... I, I only get one since I drop the shield, right? I don't get to try two. Right. I don't uh, have any ranged weapons, correct? Uh, yeah. I don't think so. I have you zero You could gear. if you want. Yeah, I didn't fill out your sheet all the way. You could have I'm any Van random. and I'm asking Nick and Sean if they gave Lucille a bow, but it sounds like not. No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh... I will use my body as a ranged weapon. Okay. 
Uh, and you put on your shield when you got to the top of this round, right? Yeah. Okay. The monsters go, and this guy right here oh, sees finally someone's within range. He doesn't have to run okay. down a mountainside to get to you, and he will he, come to fight you. And oh, shit, an impassable can't. barrier. <laughs> Arr! Arr! Okay, he'll step back, uh, lick his thin demon lips with his sword, and get ready, ready, and attack to hit you. Uh, but only the one attack, he doesn't ready his full allotment of attacks. Um, the fireworm gets a recharge check and botches it. Um, but will slither towards you guys. Um, this way. And then our demon warriors are going to come like this. Actually, the fireworm will slither to this spot so the demon warriors can keep trucking. How tall is the fireworm? How it big is, is it? a gargantuan creature. It is 80 feet long. Uh, so it, it's maybe like, you know, 15 feet across, and then it can raise itself or lower itself and kind of do whatever it needs. Like a snake, it can be tall or short as desired. Can I crawl away at half my movement speed? Can I at least Absolutely do that? not. Nope. You are Tom <laughs> Hanksing it. You can do literally nothing. All right. Fuck. It's worth a shot. Um, these guys could move a little bit farther forward, but not quite enough to get into attack range this round. They'll be there next round. And these all stupid buttons move up similarly. This, except this demon will fall back and kind of create a slightly thicker wall with their bodies. Not that it really helps against lightning bolts, but we'll see. You guys can't be over there. You have to be over here. Um, I'm going to spread out a little bit. And all of this gets dispelled, correct? Or do you want to roll a dispel? As the, uh, for the, the eye gazing approaches? at the mud? Yeah. Yeah, I think that will start to dispel this stuff automatically. Um, but more importantly, the beholder comes into view and gets to use some of its eyes. I think, to, uh, like, you guys are all within a 190 degree arc, so I think it gets 1d6 eyes against you. And the more you surround it, the more eyes it gets. So if you surround it fully, it gets to use everything. But if you're all in 190 degree arc, it gets d6 of them. Um, 1d4. 1d4. Yeah, 1d4. All right. Roll it, Nick. Don't let the sound a lot, now. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Oops. Um, nope, we're gonna re-roll one of those sixes, because we can't double up. So five, six, seven, and ten. Five, six, seven, and ten. So 30 yard range is 90 feet. It can't hit anything oh, at 90 feet. Fucking hell. Uh, six is 20 yard range, which it can't do. Fear as wand we'll deal with later. And ten is death ray. One target, 40 yards. And is someone within 40 yards of us, 120 feet? Uh, you guys are, but you're also behind this wall. So yeah, that's a slope. It can't see you guys. It can see Malachi way over here, but it can't target him at this moment. That's right. So I don't think any of those go off, except for the fear as a wand, which what the fuck does that mean? Using a fear <laughs> is there a as wand a wand? Fear or something like that? There must or be a wand of fear. Save versus... There's a wand yeah, of fear in the DMG. Oh. So no, yeah, because like, charm person is as spell, sleep is cone. as spell, fear is as wand. So I think there must be a wand the of only fear in the is DMG. That it's, yeah, it's in the DMG. It's a okay. 20 foot wide thing. at the base, 60 foot long cone. Okay, 60 foot long. So no, no one's in range of that either. Yeah. Okay. No one can be targeted by any of these things this round. Lucky you guys. There is All the right. anti-magic shell or anti-magic yes. ray 140 okay. yards which is it's only... i believe far enough to dispel your and... charmed people your uh illusions nick is it just can i not cast any spells while in, in it's standing in its ray it will dispel anything in its cone no but i think it also set, stops me casting spells yeah spells will cease to function spells cast in or passing through the zone cease to function yeah so do its okay. eye stalks, though, right? 
Uh, the Clicking... eye stalks are behind the main eye. But they would go through oh, it. Oh, I they see what you're anything. saying. Right, so I think it has to close its main eye to use yeah. its other ones facing forward. Right, so, yes. so right now it's... Uh, no, right now it's approaching with its uh, anti-magic and, ray on. And just to confirm, the anti-magic ray will not cancel out the barrier. Correct. The barrier is... Or the, the source higher. of it is far enough away. That, uh, yeah. Hang on, Neil, though. Didn't it try and use its eyes? It um, thought I, about it, but it didn't. But no one was within no range. No one was in range, yeah. So we didn't even okay. bother doing any of it. So it keeps its main eye open. Uh, and then we're going to take a break. And when we come <laughs> back from break, it's time. See you guys on the other side. <laughs> 